Hey, what's up? It's Logan Brown. In this video, I'm going to break down the peekaboo sidestep for you. So the peekaboo style is an aggressive counterpunching style, right? And a lot of the moves, a lot of the movements in the style are designed to create openings and put you into a position where you can launch a counterpunch where your opponent can't hit you back. So what this move is gonna look like is you're coming in, right? You're being aggressive, you're pushing, you're pressuring your opponent, and then boom, you're gone and bang. So you can use this move in lots of different situations. You can use it basically off the jab, you can use it off a of feint. But probably one of the most effective ways to use it is to use it in the middle of your combos. But I recommend just mixing it up and trying to use this this move in different situations, okay? So that your opponent's always trying to think, what's he doing, what's he doing, what's he doing? All right, so here's a drill that you can use to get good at this, but also to build at that speed. Remember, you want to be just disappearing in front of your opponent, getting to the side so you can come over the top, okay? So in this drill, what you're going to do is you're basically just going to be loose. You're going to slip down, okay? You're going to drop down, load up all the weight on, on this foot first, and then you're going to lift this other foot off the ground and you're going to push out, okay? And I want you to push out as far as you can and as fast as you can, okay? Without losing your balance. You're gonna land back in a punching position, right? Boom, so you can come over the top. Then once you're on that side, you're just gonna reset and you're gonna do the same thing on this side. And just depending on how much space you have, you're just gonna do that back and forward, back and forward, okay? The whole point of this drill is to keep your balance, build up the strength and power in these muscles so that when you're shooting, it's happening quickly. Once you've got that movement down on both sides, then you want to throw it into your training. You want to be doing it on the heavy bag, on the pads, and even when you're using the slip bag. 